Hey there, in this video, you're going to learn how to play sounds in React. I'm not a huge fan of music playing on websites, but in some situations, it can improve the user experience. For example, I have this project that I built with my React students, and here, this is a quiz game. So we added a sound for when the user answers incorrectly, and another sound for when the user answers correctly. We even spiced it up a bit by adding a confetti when the answer is correct. So this is a good example of how sounds can improve the user experience. So let's see how you can do that in React. And by the way, this can be done with any other framework like Vue.js, Angular, or even vanilla JavaScript. So the first step is going to be to create a new audio element. We can do that by creating a new variable, starting the audio object, and passing the path to the audio file as a parameter. If you want to learn more about the audio element, you can just go to Google and search for HTML audio element, then go to the Mozilla website, and here you are going to have more information about it, including other properties that might be useful to use. For example, you can dynamically get the source of the audio, the duration, you can check if it's paused or not, if it's muted or not, so a lot of useful information about your audio object. So going back to the project, now that we created the audio object, we can just use the play method. So in this case, if the answer is correct, I'm going to call the oneaudio.play method, and I'm going to do the same thing for the lost audio. And now we do that and we can hear the sounds. Now, if you're curious about the confetti part, this is actually super simple. I'm using an external library, so I'm going to import it here. I'm going to leave the link for this in the description of this video. Then after doing that, you can just run the confetti method. And as simple as that, we can now have the confetti showing in the project. So that was all. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the web schools and hit the like button. See you on the next video.